Hi, this is Dr. Don Bonner. Uh, today I want to do a, a short video on uh, a complete hormone program. And uh, this is kind of impromptu, and uh, I'm doing it a little bit earlier than I normally do on uh, Thursday afternoon. But um, I got to thinking the, uh, the, the other day when I was in the clinic, and uh, I was doing an initial uh, consult for hormone replacement therapy. And as I was doing the, uh, the uh, history, I, you know, I finished the normal history that I do on every patient. And then I got to, I, I uh, got to the section where I talk about diet, nutrition, sleep, stress management. And I noticed the patient, the patient was wondering basically what I was doing, uh, you know, going over those things because, uh, you know, they had booked a, uh, a hormone consult. They, they wanted to know about their hormones and uh, have their hormones evaluated and treated. And, uh, I mean, this is, that's understandable for sure. But um, I think one thing that patients need to understand is that uh, hormones are only, part of the, uh, are only part of the package, so to speak, that uh, if you truly want to feel well, and uh, and be at your best, and uh, especially when we start talking about longevity and uh, and vitality, which uh, which we have in our uh, in our logo for personalized wellness, you have to look at more than than just uh, more than just a hormone program, and um, you know I have patients that uh, may have been on hormones for years, and. Uh, well, um, I, I use pellets mainly uh, for my patients, but uh, they'll get uh, pellet therapy and then they'll come back in four or five weeks and they'll say that, uh, you know, th these pellets didn't work, that I don't feel the way I normally do, that, uh, you know, I normally get, you know, a surge of energy. I feel, you know, you know, I, I think clear, I feel better, but uh, these just didn't work. So, so we'll draw, we'll draw lab work and, uh, they'll be perfect. I mean, their, their estrogen levels will be good. Their testosterone levels will be, you know, right where I want them. And, um, you know, they, they, they just don't understand what's going, what's going on. But the, uh, where that comes in and, and why you have, you know, variable responses at different times with your hormones has more to do with, with the other components of a, uh, of, of a complete program. And, and I would say that, uh, especially having done this for a while, that uh, stress is by far the, uh, the number one culprit in, uh, in not feeling the way you should after, after, giving, after getting your hormones. Um, if you're particularly stressed out over this past several months or whatever, um, you can really... Uh, not feel as well at all after after getting your hormones, but that's only that's only one aspect. When when patients come to see me in the clinic, I, I tell them that uh, you know what we're looking for is is not just longevity like I talked about before, but we want we want vitality till till basically the very end. And to do that, what I look at are the basically the levers that we can pull and alter to to get you at your at your very best at, and at your peak. And what I do is I look at, at diet nutrition is always number one for me. And we go into that heavily at the uh, at the clinic. And uh, you know I put or at least talk to and try to put everybody on a program for uh, for diet nutrition. I talk about sleep medicine uh, to every single patient. I think sleep is either number one or number two as far as a healthy program. I think we, we you know, especially in the United States, we very much shortchange sleep. We think it's almost a, you know, something that we can do without, and if we, you know, do without that sleep, we can get more work done. And I can unequivocally tell you that is false. Sleep is incredibly important, and you really need, you know, every study that I've ever looked at, you know, basically says you need at least seven hours of sleep, preferably, you know, eight hours of sleep, because it can be anywhere from seven to nine hours that you actually need 
So sleep is very important. You need to make that priority. And uh, I, I go at lengths with my patients, talking to them about sleep, sleep hygiene, and uh, you know what to do at night before you go to bed. It's again, it's incredibly important. And uh, I know this talk is not about sleep, but I would say the the one thing that you can really do to help yourself when it comes to sleep is to is to uh, basically set an exact time that you that you go to sleep seven days a week and and stick to it as much as possible, and also have a a time when you plan to awaken and and you know even on the weekends get up at that time. Because that schedule helps tremendously in setting your circadian rhythm and uh, and making it easier for you to get that seven hours of sleep. You know, then I talk about stress management, and I don't know as I've talked to any patient that doesn't have stress in their life. And uh, I mean, we all have stress. And when I talk about stress, I don't mean just uh, mental and emotional stress. That that is definitely part of it. But uh, you can also have uh, basically what's called an allostatic load by how much, how many things are impacting you in a, in a stressful way. You know, emotional stress is definitely, you know, one of those things. You can have inflammation. So if you have body-wide inflammation, if you have autoimmune disease, if you have rheumatological problems, uh, if you have an infection, you know, a, a, an infection you don't even know about, say you've got an abscessed tooth and you don't know about it. All of those things, that all of those things act as a as a stressor. Diet and nutrition, big as far as stress goes. And uh, especially when, when we start looking at insulin resistance uh, in the uh, diet and nutrition program. The um, and then sleep. So th those are the main things that I look at as far as as far as stress goes. So we we look at all of those, and uh, and if necessary, you know, if I'm if I'm confused as far as uh, where this patient is as far as the pattern of uh, of stress and, and fatigue, I will uh, I'll get a four point cortisol uh, salivary test uh, on the patient just so I can see where their cortisol level is uh, throughout the day. And depending on what, depending on what their cortisol curve looks like, if, uh, you know, basically dictates what I do as far as handling that particular hormone. And so again, a complete hormone program. So, uh, you know, if their cortisol is actually high in the morning and maybe high in the evening, We'll, we'll, we'll use calmative herbs, ashwagandha, those sorts of things, phosphatidylserine in the evening to, to blood that cortisol response. If their cortisol is actually low, we, I may actually use uh, uh, adrenal cortex uh, you know, supplements to, uh, as, as well as calmatives and herbs to, uh, to help restore that, uh, uh, what's called your HPA axis, your hypothalamic hypothalamic pituitary adrenal axis. So it's not this, this moniker of adrenal fatigue. I, I don't I don't believe in adrenal fatigue. It's not your adrenals. This is a, a central issue with your brain from these cumulative stressors. Uh, and I would say that, that that is by far the number one reason why your your hormones typically aren't working well. And uh, as we go farther down the line, I also look at uh, gastrointestinal health on all my patients. Huge problem. If, you're, if your gastrointestinal tract is not working properly, you don't really stand much of a chance for being very healthy because you have to be able to absorb the, uh, you know, your minerals, your vitamins, your, your amino acids, your fats. Everything has to, to be absorbed from your, from your intestine. And if your gastrointestinal tract is not working well, those patients really don't do well at all. And uh, it's very interesting, actually. If you get if you get patients that have uh, severe gastrointestinal problems and run an organic acids test on them, which is a urine test, and actually look at their mitochondrial function, you can you can you know, definitely see where their mitochondrial function is off. And if your mitochondrial function is off. You're going to have low energy, and uh, you're just you're just not going to feel well. 
So then finally, you know, then we get to hormones. So obviously I look at everybody's hormones. I look at your sex hormones. I look at thyroid. And we look at uh, vitamin D levels. And uh, we, we get those, you know, optimized as much as possible. But I can tell you, even when I get those, the hormones, those hormones optimized, patients, you know, may still be fatigued and not feel well. Or we'll go through cycles, like I said before, that, uh, you, you know, you'll, you'll replace hormones. They feel better one time. Uh, you do it, you know, again, five or six months later, whatever the program, and uh, they don't get the perceived benefit this time. And even though you do lab work and it, and it all looks good, they just did not get the benefit. And again, you have to put all of these things together. And that's what's, you know, as far as I'm concerned, it's extremely important to, to go to a clinician who understands putting all of these things together. And, and it's also very important to go to a, a physician who knows how to test and, 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 uh, and evaluate your hormone program. Uh, I'll give you just a, a, a quick example. I had a patient come in for a consult uh, a few weeks ago, last month, I, I can't remember exactly. But he'd been getting uh, testosterone uh, injection therapy from a, uh, I, I believe, from a, from a local uh, family practitioner. And uh, he'd been doing his own injections, and he'd been, on, uh, he'd been on testosterone injections for several years. And uh, when I questioned the patient and went over his history and asked him what his, what his uh, estrogen levels had been running, he had never had estrogen levels drawn at all. And uh, so it's, it's just very important that you go to somebody that, uh, that, know, that understands that replacing these hormones, especially testosterone in men, that you have to monitor their hemoglobin and hematocrit because those can get very elevated. I, I, again, I saw a patient's live work not long ago who'd been doing injections and uh, his hematocrit was 60. Uh, I don't know as I've ever seen a hematocrit of 60. And uh, it had not been addressed. And even with a young man, uh, a hematocrit of 60 is, very, is concerning. And uh, you've got to get that down. You've got, you've got to get blood. You've got to, uh, you know, dump blood, you know, in, in the clinic. You, you've, you've got to get that, uh, that down because it can be very dangerous. And again, with estrogen with men, you have to maintain a normal estrogen level in men. And, and some men just aromatize much more than others. And aromatization, what, what I mean is testosterone can be converted to estrogen in men and women and uh, by a hormone called aromatase. And some people just do it more than others. And you have to know that. I've got plenty of men who are on testosterone whose estrogen levels never, never budge. They never get above 30 or 40 and uh, never need any kind of uh, therapy. Uh, but other other people will surprise you, and uh, their estrogen levels will, will get uh, will rise fairly rapidly. So you have to test. You have to look at those things. So, and, and, and you know, in saying that, I'm not you know I'm not making you know I'm not saying you have to come to me per se. I'm just saying that you need to go to somebody who understands a complete program and uh, and how to deliver it uh, safely. For the patient, because I, I, I truly believe that uh, bioidentical hormones can be given safely for for a you know a very very long period of time, and will greatly benefit you from you know numerous uh, physiological uh, physiological settings uh, as far as you know pre helping prevent dementia, you know cardiovascular disease, uh, bone health, uh, fatigue, all of these things. Can be uh, can be worked on and, and greatly improved by a balanced hormone program. But you but again you really need to look at you really need to look at all of these things and put them all together. So it's so it's not simple and uh, and you need to have somebody you know testing. You need to have somebody talking to you about your diet, what you're doing, and uh, you know almost you know I can tell you know tell you for sure that if I if I get a a uh, you know a morbidly obese male that comes to the clinic and uh, he wants hormones and uh, and I check his testosterone level almost a hundred percent of the time his testosterone is going to be low 
and I can replace that, and he's probably and he's going to feel better uh, getting the testosterone. But it's not a complete program. You you've got to address the other issues. Otherwise, you're doing the the uh, in my opinion, you're doing the patient a disservice. So, um, so that's really the main take home point. Uh, you know, uh, go to somebody that knows what they're doing, and uh, make sure that they're getting lab work. Make sure that they're they're you know personalizing your program to you, that they don't just have a you know a shotgun method of uh, you know giving you hormones, and uh, then never testing again. You have to you have to test because unless you test, you don't know where you're at. You know you would never give uh, you never give a, a diabetic insulin and never check the glucose levels. So I, so I I don't understand giving hormones and then and then never checking to see where you're at. So, you know, go someplace where, where they do a thorough evaluation that uh, and that they put all these pieces together for you and uh, you know to make it uh, as healthy as possible for you in your uh, in your hormone program. So um, I don't have any questions, so uh, I know it's early and uh, uh, I hope everybody has a good day. Uh, give us a call if you uh, if you want to come in and see us. Uh, we're at uh, uh, Personalized Wellness. The clinic's on Highway 51. Uh, the address is 573 uh, Highway 51, Suite D. Again, we're, in, we're uh, located in Ridgeland. The uh, phone number at the clinic is uh, 601-898-0911. And uh, give us a call. We'd be happy to see you. Thank you.